Hey guys, it's Sarah, and this is my first time filming in this decade. So I want to challenge myself to do a glow up transformation for $20. Because it's 2020, get it? So in this new year, I'm going to help you save money and look hot. I love me some cheap makeup, so I already have a couple items here that I can use. But to do the whole $20, we're going to have to do some shopping. Field trip. The first place I hit up, of course, is the dollar store. I wanted to start off with the cheapest items I could find because I don't want to break my budget. And unfortunately, the one in my neighborhood just didn't have a good selection. All they had was some like Elsa kids makeup crap and like a couple of smash highlighters I moved on to the drugstore and I was today years old when I found out drugstore does not mean cheap because a lot of these things broke my budget so I had to go with the cheapest brands they carry which was wet and wild and elf okay so here's the haul I got a wet and wild eyeshadow quad for $3.99 a wet and wild coal liner for 99 cents a BB cream which I also intend to use as concealer for a dollar an elf under eye powder for four dollars elf highlighter for four dollars wet and wild mascara for $3.49 and finally a NYX lip liner for $2.50 which brings us to a grand total of $19.97 Okay, I have everything in front of me right now. So this is the before. This is me six days out of the week when I'm not filming. That's why if you see me in public and you ask for a selfie and I look like this, don't be disappointed. Anyway, so to start, I'm gonna use the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream in Light. I discovered this brand a couple years ago when I was just fucking around on Instagram. I saw a BB cream for a dollar. So I was like, I gotta try this. And it actually ended up becoming one of my favorite foundations because it doesn't feel like a BB cream at all. It's a lot thicker. Like it has kind of a gel consistency this has medium coverage so I'm using this as the foundation and the concealer and how I'm gonna do that is just layer it on so this is the foundation layer and then I'm just going to add a little bit more in areas that need a bit more coverage that's gonna be my concealer this is not a perfect science but we're improvising here <laughs> nope my dark circles need another layer Blend this on my neck too. My dark circles are out of control. Okay, I think they're kind of covered. So next I got this e.l.f. Smooth and Set Eye Powder. I've never tried this before, but it's the cheapest setting powder I could find. It's really tiny for a setting powder. I guess it's only for your under eyes, but are you gonna set your under eyes with a different powder than your face? This is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna use this to set my under eyes. I'm gonna need a lot more of this. I honestly only got this because of the challenge. If you really want a powder that's a good bang for your buck, I always recommend the RCMA No Color Powder. But this is actually really nice. Like if you're not just looking for something cheap, it looks really smooth. I know it says eye powder, but I'm gonna use this everywhere. A little bit more. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna do a little bit of contouring, but we don't have any bronzer or blush, so we're gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Quad that looks like this, and we're gonna improvise. So I'm swatching this so we can get a good idea of what we're working with here. The transition shade is a really cool toned and matte shade, so I'm going to use that for a contour. It is a lot more pigmented than your average contour color, so be careful. I'm wiping a lot of it off on my palms before I apply. So I'm gonna start with the nose. Success. I think this is actually a pretty nice contour shade. Now for the rest of the face, I don't wanna use this shade cause I think it's a little bit cool tone for my cheeks and stuff. So I'm gonna use crease, which is a little bit warmer. So it should be more like a bronzer than a contour powder. This is how I'm dipping my big brush into a small eyeshadow. This. This is basically a mini contour palette. Well done, Sarah. Obviously, for the cheeks, I'm gonna be using the pink shade in this palette. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna pick up the eyelid shade. You know what this pink shade reminds me of? Orgasm by NARS. Little bit too much shimmer in my opinion, so I'm just not gonna add highlight. Next, I'm gonna use the brow bone highlight for my brow bones and for my nose bridge as well. Now for the eyebrows, I picked up the Wet n Wild Sima Brown Now Color Icon Coal Eyeliner. Since I don't have enough of a budget to get both an eyeliner and an eyebrow pencil, I'm using this for both. So, this is a pencil eyeliner, so I just have to be 
a lot more light-handed than I usually would be. I'm still getting a lot of feathery strokes, which is good. gonna use my fingers to blend it out. This is a little harder than I expected. Am I allowed to use a q-tip? I'm gonna have to to save the situation. Okay, just pretend you didn't see that. Okay, now I'm gonna use a little bit of the BB cream just to clean up my brows. Oh, I forgot that it's eyeliner and now it's spreading. Okay, um, okay, don't panic. I'm just gonna clean it up a little with a Q-tip. See, we got this, we got this. For the eyes, using the same palette, transition shade right here in the crease. And then I'm picking up the crease, which is the color we use as the bronzer, and I'm blending this out. Now I'm gonna go back with the BB cream and we're gonna attempt a cut crease, like a soft cut crease. I'm just slowly tracing my eyelid. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so I drew a little wing. Now I'm going to pick up the pink shade and pack this on the lid. Man, I really hope this works. Actually, I'm only going to pack this on the wing and then blend this out a little so it kind of fades out you know what i mean now i'm gonna go back in with the eyeliner just do a slight wing and this is a coal eyeliner so i can pull this out and i'm actually going to trace the wing i did earlier like this with whatever's left over see now we have a beautiful chocolate wing Okay, I fucked with the eyes enough. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Now for mascara, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I actually tried this before filming and it's so nice. It has a kind of like a, it feels kind of like gel, like it's gelling your eyelashes up. The only thing is it's not waterproof. They do have a waterproof version, but I didn't find it at my drugstore. So that's unfortunate. Honestly, every single mascara is so much better waterproof. If I was an ABG, I would just spend all $20 on a nice pair of lashes. And I'm actually gonna use whatever's left here carefully on my brows. Done. Okay, we have two products left. I'm just gonna line my lip. And I'm drawing my whole lip with it. I feel like my cheeks are a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna blend everything one more time. What I didn't expect is I actually got so much shimmer from that blush, I don't feel like I need highlighter at all. So I'm going to not use the highlighter and pick up some Vaseline instead. You scoop up a little for my lips as lip gloss. And I also want to put a little bit right in the center of my lid. Kind of like a glossy lid look. Now let's fix this hair too. And there you go. I hope this gave you some inspiration for your affordable look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. It's a good time on my channel. And you can really support me for free that way. And I'll see you next week. Bye.